Hey, what's up, everybody? Your buddy Preston here. Going to open some cards. Going to sort through some other stuff uh, my buddy gave me. He didn't want. Said there's some decent players in there. We'll see what we got. Then we got this mail from my buddy Chris Bolton. Uh, I don't know what's in here. I cannot remember uh, what it is exactly. Uh, from Dan at Hard R Cards and Chris Bolton. Shout out to those guys. They're always awesome. So we'll do that first, and then uh, we'll sort through these guys. And I got a ton of sorting to do over the next couple of weeks. Going to try to get ready for an auction. Going to dig some uh, giveaway stuff out. Some folks. Oops, sorry about that. Don't want that side exposed. Give away everybody's address. Let's cut this bad boy open and see what we got. As always, I appreciate you hanging out. Chris Bolton, what's up? Look, that's your handwriting right there, Chris. Big D, Sports and Collectibles, my man. You guys are always great. Always great to see you guys here, no doubt. All right, let's see what we got. My memory is horrible. I've had lots of concussions. And uh, a couple of them pretty bad. Got blown up one time. That was that was not good. Um so I blame my poor memory on that. Oh, what is this? Nice. I think the old lady would uh, blame it on my rough and rowdy days in the 90s. But either way, the memory is not great, so I cannot remember what I got here. So this will be exciting for me as well. Choice cards, cards, comics, and autographs. What's up? Nah, we're up late. Last night, I had a horrible, horrible migraine. And I need to come this way. And it kept me up late trying to get rid of it. And then I ended up sleeping until like 3 o'clock this afternoon. So <laughs> I don't think I bought this lot for Cam Newton. Maybe. Oh, a numbered Cam. Ah, very good. Certified. That would have came out of, I uh, can't remember. So 91 of 99. Very nice. Hey Troy, you were in the uh, you were in the mega break, the 15 hour thing. Was that you? Were you my Ramones fan? I sent you an email. Am I supposed to send you out something? I cannot remember. And that's a lot of hours to dig through to find the chat there. So some Cam Newton cards. Here we go. Got a good deal on these here. How about a minor league Tatis? The missions. Yeah, I like the pro debut stuff. Absolutely. And then the refractor of the Bowman Platinum. That is beautiful. Obviously, Tatis going to be a good, good player for a very long time. So we got the refractor. And we got the Platinum Rookie. And... That's a sweet card. A bit off-centered. But that's certainly common for those, those cards. 1968. Celebrating your 1967 RBI leaders. Yaz, Killebrew, and Frank Robinson. Recently passed away, I think, unfortunately. That's a great card, though. This should this will this will be an original card. Corners are in really good shape. Like I said, a bit off center, but certainly common for back then. I think those were a couple auction lots from Hard R. My buddy Chris Bolton. Shout out to those guys. Make sure you sub up. They uh, I think every Sunday around three o'clock they will start some good deals. In the auction there. This box is full of uh, a lot of football cards in here. I 
thing. I don't know. Wait, there's some baseball stuff. What is that? I don't know what's in here. And some scribbles. From 1988. I don't know. Let's 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 see what's up here. You didn't do it? You got your name on the bottom there. All right, let me let me dig into these. Let's see what we got. We'll just start at the end there. Some old Fleer cards. Was that the 80, uh, 87, huh? Starting off with 87 Fleer and the 91 Donruss. That's not great, is it? Everything's out of whack. Let's take a look. I think let's come up a little bit. Dion James and Stan Javier. Tim Leary, Tim Cruz. Junior Felix. There's a Rhino. Diamond Kings of the 91. Oh, we got Treadway. Danny Darwin. Bob Patterson. Charlie Hugh. Tim Tuffle. Mike Schooler. Mike Morgan. Glenn Braggs. Glenn Braggs actually had a couple good years in Cincinnati. Eric King. Doug Jones. Let's see the, uh, maybe not. Shane Mack. Bob Boone. Greg Catteray. Brett Butler. Glenn Wilson. These were so wildly overproduced. The 91s. Paul Marrow. The 91 Don Russ. Let's see what's this next little stack of stuff here. Oh, God, the 90 Fleer. Viola, Doug Jones one more time. Pat Tabler. What do we got? Daryl Hamilton. Philip, what's up, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. Just going through some old cards here. I got some really good stuff. I need, I'm going to do a, what is that? Oh, there's a relic card in here. I'm going to do a recap of the 15-hour break. It's coming up soon. I'm still sorting through a little bit of the cards. I can show you a few highlights from it, though, if you guys want to see those. Kevin McReynolds, Joey Bell, Mitch Williams, and Mark Davis, Jeff Russell. Let's blast through some of these. I don't think, I don't think we're going to find any gems in the... 90 Fleer. Danny Tartaball. Teammate of Bo Jackson. Had a few good years. Kyle Aragra. Rance Mullikins. That's a hilarious... Oh, come on, camera. That's a hilarious name. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. Usually, camera's pretty good. That was an Albert Bell rookie, but who cares? Dickie Thon, a couple of great names there. Stan Javier and Lance Parrish, Tom Hinky, Walt Terrell, Gubica. Let's see, what is all in here? Oh, just knocked everything over. That's all right. Willie, oh man, these are chewed up too. Throw old Joe Bover. <laughs> He's been drawn on. I don't know. My buddy looks like here's a random box of cards. Why is my focus not working tonight? Let's see if I can get a little more light here, maybe. It's usually just fine. Somebody drew all over Joe Bover. Ah, uh, you remember the old stickers. I got a pile of stickers. We'll set that to the side. We'll keep that. 
As always, I do appreciate you guys hanging out. Greg Brock, that was the 88 Don Russ. I liked, I liked the old Don Russ borders. They were overproduced, but they weren't bad. Al Nipper, I like the 87 design too. Don Russ was all right. Sid Fernandez, Ramirez, a little mini card, James Griffin, a little football card. 1988. That's oh, a sticker. 88 Panini sticker. James Griffin. Oh, Chris. I I vaguely remember the play, but I could not tell you the player. Hard R, what's up, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. We just opened some auction stuff. Some sweet tatises I got from you. You guys are great. I always appreciate the support and the good deals. I love the 87 design. Rudy Law and Roger Mason. Not great. The 90 Don Russ. Juan Neves. There's a Johnny Benson card. A Johnny Benson shiny card. Premium Racing 96. How about that? Oh, let's see. We'll keep the baseball cards separate, I guess. Mario Andretti in the 1984 Mid Ohio. A little sprint cars. A little open wheel, something or other. Mario Andretti, how about that? Didn't know there was going to be any racing in here. Lexington, Ohio, 1984. I'm in Ohio, so that's pretty cool. Oh, the 87 insert. The Yeah, Troy's card. I, li I like that, buddy. That'd be a good little set to have. Find you a box of 90 Don Russ. I got a guy here in Cincinnati. If you're ever in uh, Southeast Ohio, check out. Uh, where's that race? We'll make a little racing card stack there, I guess. Check out Hooterville Sports in Fairfield. They got all the whack pack boxes you could want. And they're legit. We've opened quite a few. Nothing, no signs of anything silly. Um, like you might have seen on some of the other channels. Dude's legit. He's got a ton of stuff. Hooterville in Southeast Ohio. Michael Andretti. Racing in Michigan in 1987. Hooterville, yeah, that's that's what it's called. I got a video on there, some stuff I picked up from there a little while ago. You have 50% off of uh, of uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Dan Plesic, a lot of stuff that we did on the 15-hour, um, 500-pack break was from Hooterville. I liked the little, little tiny inserts. Put them in the tiny insert stack. Andy Van Slyke. He was a good player for a few years. Had a decent career, actually, Andy Van Slyke. Tom Pagnazzi. And Jeff King, Louis Soho, Tim Tufel again, Jeff Parrott, Mike Jackson. The 89s, I mean, they, they weren't bad designs that chunk of year, 87, 88, 89. I love the 87, obviously, but they were just so wildly overproduced. What is this? 1988 Collector's Edition. Glossy All-Stars and Hot Prospects. <laughs> There's all these little uh, promo cards back in the day. I guess they still do that. They still got all their promo cards. You could win a trip for four to the 89 spring training. How about that? You could pick you could pick the Mariners and check out a rookie, Ken Griffey Jr. Cecil Fielder had a good career. A third-year card. 88, Don Russ. 80, yeah, 88. Raphael Belliard. I love the old upper decks. It makes me sad they don't make 
uh, baseball anymore. Kevin's Cards, what's up, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. Just sorting some old cards here. Buddy gave me a box of stuff he didn't want. Looks down on the other end. There's a few good cards there. Might uh, sort through some of the 500 pack break 15 hour marathon we had later when we're done with these. Yeah, super sad upper deck doesn't make baseball anymore. Let me catch up on the chat, I, chat real quick. I hate it when I miss something. I'm going to take a drink of water too. All right, let's see what else is in this stack. Flannery, Dave Henderson, the 1990, Dion James. Go down just a little bit. Paul Notes, is that a sticker? Randy St. Clair. I remember these silver border. What were these from? Home Run Baker. They had the most lame <laughs> nicknames back then. There's a look at Home Run Baker. A 307 hitter, over 1,000 RBI. Not a home run hitter. Third baseman for your Athletics and Yankees. I like that card. Storm Davis. Ah, here we go. You remember the oversized uh, Bowmans? This guy is bigger than your average card. These would have been from 1990, if memory serves me correctly. 89, my apologies. Uh, oversized Earl Hershiser. Nice. Mike Flanagan. Benito Santiago. 87 record breaker. I got that lamp right behind me. It's a little too bright. I'm sorry. In the wrong angle, it makes a shine on the card. Santiago, Benito Santiago was a beast. I don't know how you can play, what, 20, 22 years, whatever he played. How, how do your knees last that long playing catcher in Major League Baseball? Just incredible. Tom Foley, Greg Harris, Tom Stoddard, the 87s, or the 88s, they're not. Not extremely fond of that design. Let me set these over here. Nope, upside down. Nelson Liriano. Nope, nope, not in that pile. Andy Hawkins. John Flesh Felsk. John Felsk. Fel Felsk. That's an awful last name. Phonetically, that is an awful last name. Felsk. J. Bell. Glenn Hoffman. Oh, another one of those little dudes just fell out. R.J. Reynolds. Zane Smith. What's this guy here? These little Panini cards from 88. Alfredo Griffin. Little mini card. You see, relatively the size there. Matt Maruyo. Man, most of these guys I remember. I have no idea. That doesn't ring a bell at all. Matt Maruyo. If you know who he is, put it in the old chat box there. Comments below if you remember Matt Mar Marillo. Maruyo. Daryl Evans. Had a few good years. Tim Leary, Mark Ubisoft, Eric Plunk. He's all right for a couple years, too. The Fleer Quiz. Let's cover up the 
True or false, the Yankees have won more World Series champions than any club in Major League history. I think we're all going to guess yes on that one. At one point, they had won 25 of 100. After the first 100 years of baseball, the Yankees had won 25% of the World Series. So I'm going to go yes on that. What two teams did the Twins defeat during the 87 postseason? 1987. I guess the Yankees and maybe the Tigers. What other club entered the American League the same year as the Mariners? Oh, I should remember this. It was the Mariners and uh, the, the, the Marlins? No, the Diamondbacks. The Arizona Diamondbacks, I think. Now, this would have been older than that. I don't remember. The Expos or something? True or false? The Athletics are the last club to win back-to-back -back world champions. Hell, back then? 1990? Yeah, maybe. I know it didn't happen for a long time. Let's see. Let's see the answers. True. The Yankees won more. The Tigers and the Cardinals. I said the Tigers and the Yankees. The Blue Jays entered the same year as the Mariners, and false, the New York Yankees were the last to win in 77-78. How did you guys do? I couldn't keep up in the chat. It was too much reading. I hope you did well. <laughs> oh, there's more. Do you want to do more? I'll set the Here, let's stickers. I can set these aside or we can do more. If you guys don't like it, I don't want to uh, aggravate you with random trivia. Oh, man, there's a lot of them, too. What is that? That's another. I, I now I've seen plenty of these stickers. I remember these no problem. You said the Cardinals. Yeah, we well you put mine and your answer together, Big D, and we got the whole thing figured out. But I do not remember the white ones at all, with the white backs, or the I don't remember the Fleer stickers from this year at all. There's a Cal Ripken 1990 All Star card. What do we got? Kevin Bass, Pat Pasillo, Al Newman. There's a Keith Hernandez for you, Mets fans. Unfortunately, it's a 90 Don Russ. I know somebody that likes Hernandez. I'll send them out in the mail. Bill Spires. Uh, Dave Gallagher, Tim McIntosh, Matt Winters, Randy Myers was good in Cincinnati for a few years, part of the Nasty Boys, Rob Dibble, Norm Charlton, and they won the World Series in 1990. Wire to wire, pulled up the big up, pulled off the big upset on Oakland. Let me get a drink of water real quick, folks. All right. What do we got here? An 87 Twins leaders. What are you doing? Can't get out of here. Probably Burt Blylove in there. Oh, a little bit of football. Hassan Jones. It's, uh, 1989. A little pro set. Uh, we'll need a different stack for football. We'll keep those separated. Lance McCullers. Dave Leeper. Leiper, I can't remember. Charlie Puglio. Coolio. There's a Mike Schmidt card for you. The 89 Phillies leaders. Yeah, hit that like button if you want. I appreciate that, Chris. Thank you, sir. Uh, we'll put that in that pile there. Kevin Gross. Glenn Wilson. Bob McClure. Mookie Wilson. All-time great name. Kevin McReynolds. Herm Winningham. 
Roger McDowell, Ron Darling, Mackie Sasser, Lloyd McClendon, Herm Winningham upside down, Andre Thomas, kind of a bow-legged stance, got his knees kicked in there. How about Ken Griffey Sr.? There you go, in an Atlanta uniform. Brian Smith, J. Bell. There we go. Hojo and Ryan Sandberg. A good card. Everybody loves Ryan Sandberg, right? Brian Fisher and Gary Roenick. David Vale, Bob Boone. Ah, oh, no, oh, sweet. <laughs> That's going to go to Penny Sleep because I love me some Wade Ball. Oh, come on. Stupid camera. Camera's usually solid. Sorry about that. Maybe I got to address my lighting situation over here. I moved to a new spot. We moved something out of the living room, and I got myself a new spot. Nothing on the back, just where you would peel it for the sticker. So, yeah, sorry about that. We'll address the uh, lighting situation soon. When I'm done with this, I'll, I'll figure out a better spot. Joey Meyer, rated rookie. Dude looked like he was 35 years old coming into the league. Jack Howell. <laughs> Chris Bolton thought Howard Johnson owned all those hotels when he was a kid. Oh, man, Big D, you did send me an email on that. I was reading through a couple emails earlier. So, here's, so guys, I'm sorry if I – I know there's a couple emails. I got outstanding, and I apologize. Uh, Willie Ansley. Hey, Ansley's my daughter's name. The Columbus Mud Cats. Um, but I, it's like crazy right now. I got um, – we're selling a couple properties, and um, – buying another one and I got to move and I got all these things going on. So, um, it's a crazy time. It's going to be a crazy month. I may not be doing a whole lot of content over the next uh, month and a half, but, uh, I promise I'll get back to all those emails and stuff just as soon as I can. Stan hobby, a Jeff Deadman. He looked happy to be there. Phil Bradley. I like the 87 Don Russ. Rob Murphy, Roger Craig, not to be confused with the running back. Oh, my God, really? Really, Big D? That's awesome, dude. Big D, sports and collectibles, give him a sub. You want to see some awesome Wade Boggs? He's got tons of them, just piles of Wade Boggs autographs over there. Jerry Brown, Donnie Moore, Jeff Kunkel. Frank Williams, Dickie Thon, one more time. I know I can see some. What do we got in here? I want to give you a little spoiler alert. Let's see. There's some 2019, 2018 football. Uh, a more football. There's a relic card in here. Uh, we got a, quite a bit of football coming up here in a few minutes, I think. Terry McGriff. No relation to Fred McGriff, I don't believe, although it could be wrong because that happens occasionally. Paul O'Neill was a good baseball player. 1989, he was with the Reds, obviously, with them in 1990 when they won the World Series. Ended up with the Yankees. A very good player. Why is that? Let's angle that back down a little bit. See if that will help. Vaughn Hayes, he had, a, he had a decent career. Greg Gross. Dave Dravecki. Did he play with the Pirate? No, the Padres. Yeah, that's right. I miss the upper decks. Who's that? Ernie Riles. Chuck Finley and Mike McFarlane. Lee Mazzilli. With a Mazzilli mustache. <laughs> Silly mustache. Ah, there's another one of the uh, nasty boys, Rob Dibble. Flamethrower, Intimidator. Going to the Twins game. And then the Viking. Man, yeah, that's a huge weekend, buddy. 
I hope you enjoy that. That sounds like a great time. Who are the Twins playing, or the uh, Vikings playing again? Joe Carter, good baseball player. Kirk McCackle, Miss McCaskill. Say that five times fast. There's a 1990 Ozzie Smith, Hall of Famer. All-star card. Who are the 89 leaders? Let's take a look. Robbie Thompson, he had a good career. Bonilla, still getting paid by the New York Mets. Will Clark, very good career. Coleman, like Ozzie Smith down there. Tony Gwynn on the list. One of my all-time favorites. Randy Myers, look at that. We got uh, we got another nasty boy. Bobby Witt. Twins Royals. Oh, yeah, you're going to win some games, too. So, yeah, it's not only are you going to have fun being at the games, but they're probably going to win those games as well. Lance Blankenship. Howard Johnson. One more time. Yeah, I don't know who would have been in that picture. The 89 Cardinals. It's not Ozzie Smith. Ah, some more football. James Jones, wide receiver. There's something sticky on that card. We'll get rid of that one. Kyle Rudolph. There you go, Big D. Off to a good start in his career. What year is this? Would have been a second year card, I think. Maybe third. Card from 2014. football pile. Let's get rid of this baseball pile here for now. I think we're going to go on a stretch of football. Let me clean up my mess real quick here, guys. As always, I appreciate you hanging out. Preston underscore sports on Twitter. We'll post there before we go live. Keep you updated. Tori Smith, wide receiver, community mentor, plays 60. He was good for a few years. He had some incredible speed, athleticism. Torrey Smith was decent football player. Oh, a little something sticky on the back of that, too. Yeah, a little bit of something on that one. All right, what's this pile here? Oh, no, back to baseball, it looks like. Oh, got some football back there. All right, let's take a look and see what we got. Sean Kelly, what year was that? can't remember. 2015 design tops series one Sergio Santos Jason Castro what do we got here? yeah the Titans yeah it wasn't it wasn't good buddy it wasn't good at all how do you lose there and then I mean after you had gone in and beat uh, you know Cleveland at home doesn't make a lot of sense Kershaw, Cueto, and Wainwright. Kershaw, future Hall of Famer. Wainwright, I don't know. Is Wainwright a Hall of Famer? I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. Cueto should have won. A, somebody stole the Cy Young from him. I don't remember what year it was, but Johnny Cueto was sick here in Cincinnati. Love that dude. We got the Padres. We got Trevor Bauer, 2015. Now with your Reds, John Doolittle, Lance Lynn. Hey, a Ty Cobb insert. That's pretty sweet. Archetypes. Very nice. I like that a lot. How about a Babe Ruth? Is that a baby Bambino? St. Mary's Industrial School. Two thousand fifteen top. I like that. Michael Morse robbed and left. 
Oh, pardon me. <clears throat> that totally snuck up on me, man. Whew. Well, what do we got? Ah, Matt Harvey and Tom Seaver. Inspired plays. Matt Harvey, obviously, uh, got a little derailed there. Hopefully, he can get back on track. Tom Seaver, one of the best that's ever done it. Not necessarily celebrated as one of the best all the time when you have those conversations, but uh, certainly deserves to be in the conversation when you start talking about, uh, you know, top five, top ten guys. Tom Seaver should should be mentioned. Jose Abreu, future stars gold cup card the all-star rookie that'll be his second year card jose abreu carlos santana brandon hicks evan gaddis future stars bryce harper living a second year card i believe Carl Crawford, throwback site. Oh, yeah, Harvey, he's done. He's done. Thank you, Troy. You know, those are White Sox throwbacks. A lot of good throwbacks, man. The old Houston ones, those Padre ones, the baby blue uh, and gold uh, Brewers uniforms. Yasiel Puig. There was a few years the Reds wore like a blue and red uniform. It was pretty sweet. Santiago Castillo, Phil Hughes. His career didn't go exactly the way people thought it would go. Tyler Flowers. Michael Waka Waka Waka. 2014 record. The Pirates. There's an old McCutcheon out there, I think. Todd Frazier. You guys remember when Todd Frazier threw the baseball bat at the ball and hit a home run? If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. Todd Frazier throws bat home run or something. It'll pop up. It's uh, Type it into the old YouTube bar there. Um, yeah, it was incredible. The bat came out of his hand before it hit the ball, and then it hit the ball, and the ball went for a home run. It was incredible. Never seen anything like it. I've seen a lot of baseball. Chris Parmalee, you remember Bernie Parmalee? Bernie Parmalee was probably the best running back that Dan Marino ever had. Think about that statement. Think about how absurd that is and how bad an owner Wayne Heisinger was and how bad an organization they were to where Bernie Parmalee would be your best running back over your entire 15-year Hall of Fame career. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. You see what Miami's doing this year? It's absurd. Awful, just awful. Stephen Ross. Hugh Darvish up next. That would have been, what, a second year? No, he's been around a little while longer than I thought. Uh, Chris Davis. Not to be confused with the athletics. Chris Davis. Celebrating his first home run with the Rangers. Jason Vargas. Jesse Hahn. Ricky Nolasco. Gene Segura, he's having, he's, he's off to a decent start in his career. Howie Kendrick, Jared Weaver, Steve Shisick. Oh, there's somebody emailed me. I'm, I told him I'd set all the Shisicks aside for him. We'll set that over there. Dave Mantranga. First Bowman Chrome, second baseman for your Houston Astros. They found a better second baseman, didn't they? That's a sweet card, though. Charles Johnson, back to football. Andre Williams, rookie. Paul Kruger. Man, you remember when Paul Kruger got all kinds of money to play football and then everybody realized that he sucked? Like right after that. Peyton Manning, there you go. 4,000-yard club. Picture of him in his Bronco uniform. Haley DeWitt, super kid. 
cheerleading for your Giants with the play 60 cards. <laughs> There's a Johnny Manziel rookie. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna penny sleeve that and put it in a rookie thing just just as a cautionary tale, I suppose. I don't know why not. We'll we'll set Johnny aside. Destiny Dugas, the punt, pass, and kick competition cards from your 2000 what 14 tops. Hey, how about Wes Welker? You want to hear something stupid about Wes Welker? He played all those years with Tom Brady, the years with Peyton Manning in uh, Denver. Wes Welker's never won a championship. That's some bad luck. I remember when the Dolphins uh, had him. I can't remember if he was drafted or undrafted, but I was like, man, they got this tiny little white dude. He's all fast and shifty. He's going to be good. And then they traded him to the Patriots. I was mad. What are you doing? Man, why would you even put those ugly Steelers uniforms on a car? Uh, Welker started with the Dolphins. Yeah, 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 Chrissy, yeah. Oh, I was so mad because I, I, I was a Dolphin. Look, I fell in love with Dan Marino a long time ago. Dude was really good. I got these football, baseball mixed up here. I was like, man, I'm going to follow his career because that dude's awesome when I was, you know, maybe eight, seven, eight years old or whatever. And then, uh, so I kind of became, an, a, you know, a default Bengals or Dolphins fan. I live in Cincinnati. I root for my Bengals. But I kind of became a Dolphins fan, and I'm done. I, why would you trade? So what? A month ago, they're talking about trading for Jadavion Clowney, and then your your plans change so much that now you're just dumping everybody. Even if you're going to do a rebuild and tank, you can tank without getting rid of Laramie Tunsil and um, the safety Fitzpatrick. They're probably going to dump uh, Xavion Howard too, which uh, – yeah, I'm, I'm no longer a Dolphins fan. I am a Dan Marino – Zach Thomas, Jason Taylor, Larry Zonka fan. Otherwise, I hope the Dolphins lose every game from now until the end of time. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. 30 years of ineptitude, just like my hometown Bengals. Absolute trash. All right. Thanks for that. That felt good. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Chris. Uh, Reno never had any help. Go look at some of their drafts. Starting in 1983. Up till 1999. Look at his entire career, what Miami was drafting. Absolutely absurd. No idea what they were doing. There's a Lamar Jackson rookie in here. Well, that's pretty good, huh? That over there. He's all football, right? All right. Mike Evans, off to a good start in his career. I got him on one of my fantasy teams this year. Need him to do well. Matthew Stafford. There's a beast. Khalil Mack. These are the uh, 2019 season tickets. Or 18, I'm sorry. Contenders from Panini. Khalil Mack's a beast. Dak Prescott about to get paid. Big time paid. Jamal Adams. Luke Keekley. Off to a Hall of Fame kind of start for him. Kiko Alonzo. Speaking of your Dolphins. Uh, Sony Michelle, Rookie of the Year candidate. He's off to a good start in his young career. Mitch Trubisky. A lot of debate on uh, what his talent level is exactly. I think... I think Mitch Trubisky is probably, you know, kind of a, a, an Andy Dalton type. A guy that can play well when the situation and the pieces around him are good, but not necessarily a guy that can carry your franchise to greatness all by himself. Um, so I like what they did with the defense. But getting rid of Jordan Howard is really hurting them worse than I thought it would. Uh, he's a good football player. His combination of power with uh, 
Tariq Cohen's, you know, speed and athleticism and catching the ball out. But the one-two punch they had there for Mitch Trubisky to work with was great. And now uh, now they're likely to struggle without him offensively. So, um, obviously, that defense plays well. They're going to need to lean on that defense most of the year. Uh, Julian Edelman. Devontae Freeman. Josh Norman. Yeah, they got they got a no doubt, Chris. They got a they got to support him. Deshaun Watson, exciting player to watch, no doubt about it. Cam Newton, man, Google up Cam Newton's outfit last week. Just Google Cam Newton outfit; it'll be the first thing that pops up. It is ridiculous. This dude has lost his mind. If I was in that locker room, I'm not. I'm not like the hyperbole kind of guy, overreact kind of guy. But if I see my quarterback dressed like that on national TV, I'm out. I'm so worried about him right now. <laughs> he was wearing like a bonnet. It was it was nuts. Absolutely nuts. Stephon Diggs, he's an exciting player to watch. Who is this? Antonio Brown, Ben Roethlisberger, Juju Smith, and James Conner. Team squads card. Roethlisberger done for the year, likely done for his career. Antonio Brown, just an absolute crazy person. I'm sure you've heard about his antics in Oakland and then all these allegations coming up recently. Juju and James Conner is going to need to carry the load into the future for them. And, uh, man, unless they get a little more help for him, I'm not sure that's going to go well. I do like Mason Rudolph. Uh, 63% college completion over his career, 65% of senior year. Um, no, nah, I don't think. No, nah, he's he's old and he's – nah. That's a hard injury to come back from. Kareem Hunt, uh, all-time world-class turd. You know what? Get out of here, Kareem Hunt. We don't need you. Doug Baldwin, he retired, uh, leaving some space open for DK Metcalf in Seattle. DK Metcalf's going to be good. He's got some work to do on his uh, hands a little bit and on his um, route running, but they'll clean that up. His athleticism is ridiculous. Croy Bierman. Oh, I remember him. He was on uh, the year that uh, the Falcons did that HBO show, Hard Knocks. I remember him. Brandon Oliver. He was on the bubble. Franchise. Philip Rivers. Is Philip Rivers a Hall of Famer? I don't know. I just don't know. I can't decide one way or the other. So I'll I'll ask you guys. Put it in the comments below. Is I think that gold border might might be the short print from that. Was that 2018? No, 2015. They do a lot of gold border inserts. They have for the past few years. That might be a short print. I don't know. I thought I would pop in and say hi, Papa J. What's up, buddy? Thanks for the support. I appreciate you stopping by. I had a ton of fun uh, earlier hanging out. Cody Fajardo, rookie card, quarterback for your Raiders. Guess that didn't go too well for them. Byron Jones, team leaders, Derek Carr, Darren McFadden, Andre Holmes, and Justin Tuck. Man, a couple years can really make a difference in the NFL, can it? Rivers is statistically. I know he is. I know he is. I don't know why I'm hesitant to pull the trigger on it. I just don't know. Hall of Fame is big time stuff. And man, he just he always seemed to come up a little short during the big time stuff stuff. Gridiron Heritage, Fred Belitnikoff. How about that? That's a sweet throwback card. What year is that? The 2015 score. There's some decent cards in this little throwaway box my friend didn't want. The Kid Reporter Code. Oh, we don't need that either. Where's our garbage file? Put that over there. Well, we got Malcolm Butler, Julian Edelman, Brandon Browner, Ryan Carrion. He's having a good career. Brent Grimes with so much talk. 
so much talk. Andy Dalton, the ginger ninja, the red rifle, they call him. He's aggravating. He's one of the most aggravating quarterbacks I've ever watched. He can make some throws, and you're like, man, that's a good throw, and then just he'll you know, do something that's so unbelievably awful. Ben Koyak, rookie Brashard Perriman. He came into the league with all kinds of hype. He was super fast, had a good combine and stuff. Didn't really work out in Baltimore. Philip Dorsett, I like him a lot. He's a good player, good contributor, a guy that can produce with limited touches. Drew Stanton, Andre Ellington, he, he was good for a year or two. Michael Floyd and Alex Okafor, that is awful. Your team leaders from the Cardinals. Another gridiron heritage card, it's Strahan. Who doesn't love Michael Strahan? Another one of those cards. We got Kamar Aiken. I remember him. I drafted him in a fantasy league one year. Like maybe his rookie second year, I think, in the league. He had potential. I don't know what ever happened to him, though. Didn't work out. Alex Smith. That awful broken leg. Hopefully he gets healthy and can make a comeback. Andre Johnson. Colt. Over 14,000 yards, 1,000 receptions. Andre Johnson was good. Is Andre Johnson a Hall of Fame? Drew Stanton knew. <laughs> I agree. Arian, Adrian, Adrian, Arian Foster was a hell of a running back for a few years. In particular, a great fantasy running back. Blaine Gabbert, Danny Woodhead. Who was it? Oh, somebody called him Danny Woodcock on TV. One of the announcers, and everybody laughed. It was hilarious. Martavius Bryant and Heath Miller. That's the next little stack we got here. There's a security thing. The Ponce de Leon numbered card? No, nope, not numbered, just chrome. Ponce de Leon pink chrome rookie from 2019. Yeah, it's a refractor. So right there... It says that it's from Topps Chrome, but it's a refractor. Topps Chrome rookie Ponce de Leon. That's a nice little card. Cam Chancellor. One of the reasons uh, Richard Sherman was wildly overrated. You play in front of Cam Chancellor and Earl Thomas, you better be good. You better be taking some risk and getting some interceptions. <coughs> Sorry, give me just a second. <coughs> All right. Yeah, Cam Chancellor's health football player. Jimmy Graham. Anthony Dixon. What do we got here? Big Stick Nick. Nick Foles, the great outdoors, playing in the snow against, what is that, Dallas or Detroit? Playing in the snow. Ah, team leaders, we got the Bills. This will be awful. Kyle Orton. Fred Jackson was an undervalued player. Fred Jackson was good for a long time. In particular, a hell of a fantasy player. Sammy Watkins, he's off to uh, better things in Kansas City. And Mario Williams. That's not bad. Fred Jackson, Sammy Watkins, Mario Williams. Not bad, I suppose. Sean Mannion, I remember him. TJ Clemens, rookie. Denzel Perryman. Joe Namath is probably the most overrated football player in the history of the universe. Um, he's an absolute turd. I don't like him at all. He's not a very nice guy. He's a drunken moron. And he aggravates me. He had 50 more interceptions than touchdowns in his career. 
no other Hall of Famer has anything like that. 50 more interceptions in his career than, than touchdowns. Andre Williams. Yeah, I don't know why Joe Namath aggravates me so much. Just so overrated. If Joe Namath doesn't hit spend his career in New York, he's not a Hall of Famer. That's just that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. It happens once or twice a year. <laughs> like Garrett Blunt. I remember him coming out of college. You remember uh, when he punched that dude in college in the face? It was crazy. He was talking some crap. Started to laugh and walk away, and then he got rocked in the face by Legarrette Blunt. William Gay probably cost him, uh, you know, cost him to drop in the draft a little bit. Chris Ivory and Taylor Gabriel. Taylor Gabriel is a good slot receiver. What is this? Leaf. Christian Wilkins. So it's got to be 2019. Stack over here. Oh, the table's getting full. Christian Wilkins, he's going to be good. One of the best defensive uh, tackles in this draft. Noah Fant, uh, tight end for your Denver Broncos. Second tight end pick behind TJ Hawkinson to the Detroit Lions. I think both of them will have good careers. Well, these, these will all be rookie cards here. Josh Jacobs, running back for your Raiders. He's a little banged up right now, um, but a ton of potential for him. We got Miles Boykin. Oh, weird. Jeffrey Simmons. Will Greer, quarterback. Troy Aikman, flashback. That's pretty sweet. Oh, sorry. I'll lower that down a little bit there for you. Jerome Bettis was the best fantasy back. Five carries for two yards and three touchdowns. <laughs> Hard R cards. And Jerome Bettis is overrated, too. Dude averaged, uh, there ain't, I think there's only two running backs in the Hall of Fame that did not average four or more yards per carry. One of them's John Riggins. The other one is uh, Jerome Bettis. Troy Aikman flashback, pretty sweet. Devin Singletary just got the starting job with Buffalo. He's going to have a Solid rookie campaign. Uh, pretty talented dude. Interesting to see how that works out. Johnny Dixon. Nick Bosa. There you go. The All-American card. Expecting big things from him. I'm worried about the Bosas. You look at his father's career. Uh, struggled with injuries. His brother's already struggled with injuries. He's struggling with injuries already uh, as well. So uh, hopefully the Bosa boys can keep it together, though, because they have a ton of talent. Speaking of talent, Ed Oliver will be the best defensive tackle in this draft. He is an absolute beast. He fell in the draft. I can't remember exactly how far, but I remember somebody got a good deal on him. Josh Allen will be the best pass rusher from this draft as well. Yeah, they do, Chris. Uh, Josh Allen, yeah, I like him a lot. Jared Stidham, the buzz on him. Now, he got picked uh, to play quarterback behind Tom Brady, which is a good place to be, obviously. Um, even if you're not good, you're going to get paid. But they say he is pretty good. They say he's, um, um, he's, he's more impressive than any rookie they've had through there, including Jimmy G. So um, the buzz around him in New England is that he is very good and a lot better than his draft status would indicate. Brett Favre, real quick, I'll show you. I thought it was, but I didn't want to mention it. Uh, you can see one is gold, one is not. The Aikman is a short print. Which means that Josh Allen's a short print, too. The gold one's from uh, 2019 Leaf. Uh, with the gold borders will be the short prints. John Elway, a couple of Hall of Famers there. Debo Samuel, he's going to have a chance to catch a lot of balls in uh, San Francisco with uh, Jimmy G, as a matter of fact. Christian Wilkins, that's his gold one. Clayton Thorson, Riley Ridley, Jalen Smith. I like the touchdown king cards. LJ Scott. And what do we got here? 
Kowalu Rekka, defensive lineman, and Michael Esquival Lieb. Man, there's no way I got that anywhere close. That's an upper deck card. What are these? 2014 USA football. Hometown Hawaii. Hometown New York. Upper deck, huh? 2014. Nick Parasoto. Football Canada. I've never seen these kind of cards. He's 5'9", 135. Defensive back. I don't know how uh, intimidated I am if I'm running the football and, you know, I'm a 6'2 tailback, 220 pounds, and I see a 5'9", 135-pounder coming to tackle me. Some Canadian football cards, I guess. I don't know. Logan Green and Will Eason. And Jadon Johnson. And Brandon Morrissey, Charles Frederick the Fourth, and another Josh Allen, nice Josh Allen, Andy Luck in a Stanford uniform. What do you think, Andy Luck retirement? Smart maneuver? Is it uh, was it selfish? Was it? Uh, I don't know. You pick the adjective. You're the one leaving the comment. And a Tim Tebow. Everybody loves a Tim Tebow. I got a buddy of mine that rooted for Florida back then. He was always a Florida guy. Oh, just nonstop with the Tebow love. I don't think we'll see anything else uh, in terms of relics or whatever uh, in this little box here that he gave me. But we do have this Paxton Lynch rookie relic card. Six seven, two forty five. That's a pretty card. That Bronco orange. Oops. Let's grab another little stack. What is this? More of those? Got some more of those Canadian cards. Kevin Mueller, Harrison Phillips, Jonathan Acevedo. Stephen Moss, Christopher Johnson, and James Hayden. There you go. And what is this? Some more of the Leaf Draft. Paris Campbell. Being uh, drafted by the Colts, I believe. Kyle Kempt. Keneal Harry uh, was a Patriots, drafted him, I believe. Gary Jennings Jr., now all of a sudden they got a, a lot of receivers that can catch the ball there in New England. Debo Samuel, one more time. Tyree Jackson, Leo Dewart and Humphrey, and A.J. Brown. That was a big yawn, pardon me. That was unprofessional, wasn't it? Ooh. All right, let's see. We got some prism. The prisms are fun cards. Super shiny. Good looking cards, typically. Uh, the mascots, it's Michigan State. Derek Carr. Khalil Mack out of the University of Buffalo. These are 2019. Adam Thielen. Deshaun Watson, All American. Bevo or Bevo. Bo Jackson. Everybody loves Bo. Brutus Buckeye. Christian Kirk. He's going to have a good career as long as uh, they do something about that offensive line down in Arizona. But if uh, Kyler Murray can get him the ball, the kid is wildly talented. Christian Kirk. Zeke Elliott finally uh, got his deal done with the Cowboys. Christian McCaffrey, my favorite running back to watch in the league right now. Him and Alvin Kamara, two of my favorite guys to watch. Love me some McCaffrey. All-time franchise, it's got to be single. No, it's Walter Payton, sorry. 
of course, number 34. Nice Walter Payton card. Marcus Mariota, rookie. He had some struggles tonight. A.J. Brown is going to be good. He's, he's talented. There's no doubt about it. Emmett Smith. I'll just get mixed in the middle of the prism. Emmett Smith, Carson Wentz. Uh, Drew Brees with his thumb injury. I hope he gets back soon. I want to see him have a strong finish to his career, whether it's going to be this year or next year. You already know my thoughts on Joe Namath. Phillip Rivers. Marcus Allen. Nice. Who is this? Ah, the Aaron Rodgers stained glass card. I have quite a few of these, but I don't believe I have the Aaron Rodgers one. I like that a lot. Very nice. We were just talking about Trubisky. We got DeAndre Hopkins, best receiver in the league. And how about a J.J. Watt to finish off the prism? And we pulled some good cards out of them. wonder why he didn't want some of these. There's a Tom Brady, the Goot. And what do we got? Some more leaf. We got a bunch of leaf coming up and then a bunch of something else. What is that? Contenders, maybe? We talked about Keneal Harry, Travis Homer, Emmanuel Hall, Damian Harris, Dwayne Haskins. Your starting quarterback for the Redskins. DK Metcalf's likely to have a very good career. Should get plenty of opportunities in Seattle. Will Greer again. Harry. DeAndre Baker. We skipped there. AJ Brown for you there. One more time. Chris Bolton. Devin Bush. The Steelers traded up to get him. I like 10 spots. And I didn't like him. I'd sent out a tweet before the draft of guys that I wouldn't draft in the first round, or early in the first round at least, guys that were overvalued. And Devin Bush was on that list. They traded up to get him. He looked good in the preseason, but now that he's playing against starters, um, if you watch, go back and watch Pittsburgh play uh, New England last week, and they just focused on him the entire time. They picked on Devin Bush so bad, and he was supposed to come in there and help their Pass protection at the linebacker position, I don't know. May end up being a bad pick. I'm leaning that way. Alex Barnes, Benny Snell, a good college career running the football for Penn State. Clellan Farrell, um, the Raiders went with him over uh, Ed Oliver. And Christian Wilkins was a bit of a surprise. Now, he's going to be a good player, but he is not going to be nearly as good as future Hall of Famer Ed Oliver. Jeffrey Simmons, the Barry Sanders flashback. Very nice. Another Noah Fant rookie. Dick Buckus. All-time great name. David Stills. Sills, pardon me. The gold variant of the Brett Favre flashback. Roger Stallback. Some nice flashback cards. Trace McSorley, Elijah Hollywood, Hollywood Holyfield, pardon me. I can tell you a good story about the when Holyfield got his ear bitten off. I was in basic training. Scarlett, Thorson, and uh, I had blown my left knee out. It was just a minor tear in the ACL or whatever it was. And I went to the doctor, and I'd, and I'd been in training. Daniel Jones has taken over starting uh, the starting job for your Giants. That was announced yesterday or the day before. Uh, Daniel Jones out of Duke. Uh, Giant fans angry when they picked him, but uh, I think they'll be surprised. He's He's got some talent. Dwayne Haskins, speaking of young quarterbacks. But so I go to the doctor and I'm in basic training. Now we haven't had contact with the, with the outside world. I'm going to get a drink of water in like, um, you know, weeks. We were like three weeks behind in our mail and stuff. There's no radio or TV or newspapers or anything. So 
uh, newspapers was like the internet before the internet. But uh, I go into the doctor, look at my knee, and when I walk in the room, he still has his TV playing, and he's watching ESPN. Now, he immediately turns it off because, you know, a young recruit coming in the office. But before he turned it off, Josh Jacobs for your Raiders, before he turned it off, I saw still photos on SportsCenter of Mike Tyson biting his ear and spitting it out. It was like the still photo of, of him spitting the ear all out and Holyfield holding his ear. Marquise Hollywood Brown off to a good start with the Ravens. Um, so I go back to the barracks and I'm like, guys, you won't believe it. Mike Tyson bit this dude's ear off and it was crazy. I saw a picture of it and nobody believed me. They said it was just too crazy to believe. Jay Sternberger. Draymond Jones, Travis Homer. So you fast forward. Devin White's going to be a better linebacker than Devin Bush. So you fast forward, you know, three weeks or whatever, and we get caught up with the mail, and it starts coming in. People talking about it in in the mail that oh my god, you won't believe that Mike Tyson bit off dude's ear or whatever. It's like I told you guys, but it was nuts. It was so crazy. The point of the story. It was so crazy. Despite it being true that that it was so crazy that the guys wouldn't even believe me. The other guys at the barracks wouldn't even believe me. Thought I was pulling their leg or something. Max Wilson, Kyler Murray, rookie. A lot of excitement around him. There's a, it might be an uphill battle for him. I don't, I mean, the college system that they're trying to run, typically, historically, that doesn't work out. Uh, guys who like to get out on the edge from the quarterback position run into those big defensive ends. Uh, you worry about injury risk. He's 185 pounds natural. So in college, he played at 10 pounds over that 195, and now he's playing at 205. So you're asking a 185-pound frame to carry an extra 20 pounds around, get hit by defensive ends. Um, and, you know, with a, a young head coach, I don't know, man. He's got a lot of things to overcome, an absolutely horrible um, roster outside of a, a couple guys, you know, David Johnson, obviously a beast. Um, Fitzgerald's getting old, but he, he's still a good uh, safety net for a young uh, quarterback. But I don't know, man. It could go either way for Kyler Murray. It really could because he's got some talent. There's no doubt about it. Um, and he can throw the ball. So I hope he stays in the pocket because uh, it's dangerous out there on the edge. Emmanuel Hall, meet Cole Hardman. Hollywood Brown, one more time. Everybody knows Bo. David Montgomery, the Metcalf gold one there. How about the best receiver of all time? Tyson was at the Titans game tonight. He looks like an old man with a beard. No, he's uh, he's going to like a one-man show. Like his stage work is like, like a stand-up, not necessarily stand-up, but like a toy storyteller on stage. And uh, it's good, good to re gets good reviews and stuff. They say he's wildly entertaining when he does a stage show. Riley Ridley, Bryce Love. The thing about Tyson is he was Don King, and there were others that, that took advantage of him so badly. No one was ever looking out for his personal state of mind. He had obvious learning disabilities and social um, things to come over, and, and they were always just so interested and in, in, dragging as much money out of him as possible that he never really got the help he needed. Um, that I, I think that in a nutshell uh, wraps up a young Mike Tyson. That being said, a 22-year-old Mike Tyson, I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anybody come out and just destroy people the way he did. It was unbelievable. The power, oh my God. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous guy to watch fight. Greedy Williams going to have a good career. So will Irv Smith Jr. Tight end's got to stay healthy. It's dangerous out there for tight end. Devin Bush, we talked about him. Kyle Shermer, A.J. Brown, Miles Sanders, a couple more Hall of Famers. The gold Barry Sanders that time. Mark Rippian's son or nephew? Son? I can't remember. Earl Campbell, nice. Love Earl Campbell. The Daniel Jones, All-American for you. Giants fans, Paris Campbell, Alex Barnes, Demarcus Lodge, and Mike Weaver. 
Got one more little stack here. It is getting late. We're running about an hour and 15 minutes. Just dropped my box on the ground. Pick that up. Set it over here. We'll run through this last little stack. We'll call it a night. I do have a lot of sorting to do, and I'm off all day tomorrow. Maybe I'll just sit on the stream all day tomorrow and sort cards for a while or something. But I do appreciate you guys hanging out. Chris Bolton, Hard R Cards, uh, Big D, Sports and Collectibles. Saw him earlier. Um, you guys are all great. Papa J Cards. Make sure you sub to these guys. Troy Cards, Cards, Comics, and Autographs. Um, it's Troy, T-R-O-Y, Hard R. I see you there, buddy. Thanks again, everybody. You guys are awesome. Kevin's Card Collecting. You were in here earlier. Thanks for stopping by. Let's run through this last little stack and we'll get out of here. Kyler Murray, one more time. Von Miller's a beast. Robbie Anderson, all the talent in the world. Got to stay healthy. Got to be a little more crisp with your routes. Jordan Reed, he's got a ton of athletic ability, though. Robbie Anderson does. Uh, J.J. Watt. Obviously, off to a great start. Serial, uh, never mind. Ben Roethlisberger. The career is probably over. Ryan Tannehill. We got the legendary contenders, Deion Sanders. Nice. That's a sweet looking card. Legendary contenders. I like that one. That's a good looking card. Adam Thielen, Marcus Mariota saw his rookie earlier. DeAndre Hopkins, a beast. Carson Wentz, you got to stay healthy. DJ Moore, Calvin Ridley. Ridley's going to have a great career. DJ Moore is talented too, obviously. Devontae Adams, Jay Ajayi. We got AJ Green. I'm in Cincinnati, one of my favorite players. Hopefully, he will get healthy soon. Jared Goff, youngest quarterback to play in a Super Bowl, if I remember correctly. The GM strike is ever ready to get back to work. All the GM strike is affecting you, Chris. And my buddy Luke works at uh, Mitsubishi. They haven't had much. I don't think they were going through the same thing, though. Yeah, I'm rooting for you guys, man. Take it, take it to them. Get what you're worth. J.J. Watt and Ben Riley. Oh, a couple uh, MVP contenders. Jared Goff, a couple doubles there. Case Keesum. <laughs> Everybody remember when John Elway announced his quarterback. He was so happy to have it. He was so happy he just couldn't even get his name right. Case Keesum. Terrell Suggs. I mean, he's a Hall of Famer, right? He'll, he'll go into the Hall of Fame probably. Joey Bosa. Got to stay healthy. All the talent in the world. Ryan Tannehill again. Brandon Cooks. T.Y. Hilton. Marquise Goodwin. He's uh, really got a chance to contribute with the 49ers. And the banner season, 2015. He put up 830 yards. 5.6 yards per carry in 2015 for Thomas Rawls. I remember the buzz around him. They thought he was going to get a real good chance to... Uh, carry the load, but he never really did. Caleb Jones. This stack's getting too big. Let's move that over there. It's a sweet card. What is that? 2016 Prestige. Larry Fitzgerald just mentioned him. The Ageless Wonder. Jalen Ramsey looking for a trade out of Jacksonville. Not nearly as good at football as he would like you to believe. He's very, very good. But, man, the way he runs his mouth, he ain't that good. The way he – I ain't, I don't want him on my team. I, I can't – I don't want a locker room to, to have to absorb that kind of drama. That's just not my kind of thing. He's talented. He's just – I don't know if he's worth it. But he's, he's going to get his way. He'll get out of Jacksonville. Zeke Elliott, Eli Manning, he's done, they pulled the plug on him, Daniel Jones going in, Zay Jones, Jared Goff one more time, Deshaun Hamilton, 
rookie of the year contender. How about a legendary contender, Joe Montana? The last one was a Deion Sanders. I like the legendary contenders cards. Darius Slay, we got his autograph out of uh, some kind of box earlier this year. Outstanding player. The safety corner. Jordan Nelson, Jordy Nelson, pardon me, just retired, I think. Allen Robinson, you got to stay healthy. David Johnson, outstanding talent. Got him on one of my fantasy teams this year. Need him to tear it up. Leonard Fournette, you got to be more consistent. Richard Sherman, very, very good cornerback. Had a lot of help with the scheme and safeties he played in front of in Seattle. Carlos Hyde, Zach Ertz, Andy Luck, Le'Veon Bell now with your New York Jets, Cam Newton MVP contenders. We got Michael Crabtree, Percy Harmon, Reggie Wayne, Percy Harmon, another guy that wasn't worth the drama. I do, man, who did he hit? He punched somebody in the face in Seattle, and I liked it. I can't remember who it was or why I liked it so much. But I thought he had a good reason to. I just can't remember. The old memory ain't what she used to be. Carson Palmer. I remember uh, some fat, sloppy turd from Pittsburgh crawling across the ground and putting his knee into, or putting his shoulder into Carson Palmer's knee during a playoff game, which pretty much ended any chance the Bengals had of doing anything that year and the next year. Uh, but he was good for a few years. And then uh, that dirty, dirty, dirty play uh, by your Pittsburgh Steelers. Adrian Peterson, he'll go into the Hall of Fame. There's no doubt about it. Touchdown club, also a real turd. You got Luke Jokel, rookie card. Kenny Britt. Mike Wallace, fast Mike Wallace, C.J. Spiller, been really good for a couple years. Dane Christ, out of Kansas, you've got Desmond Trufant, star rookie, a pretty good player. Logan Ryan, we saw him tonight with your Tennessee Titans. Justin Hunter, Deion Jordan, the Dolphins picked him at like, what, three? Um, there's going to come in and be the next Jason Taylor. He came in and was the next crappy guy the Dolphins had to start at defensive end. Deion Jordan. Who was that? Cam Cameron, I think, was the coach when they picked him. Man, horrible. How old? That's a rookie card, huh? Yeah, 2017 McCaffrey rookie. The gold rookie. I'll tell my buddy about this one. I don't know if he knew that one was in the box. He may want that one back. Carlos Henderson, Dalvin Cook. Ton of potential for that young man. That's a rookie card. And then you got Michael Williams, Jamal Williams, Matt Ryan, Jameson Winston, and Melvin Gordon under contract dispute right now. Hopefully he gets on the field because he's a talented player. All right, well, we've run uh, just under an hour and a half. Britt had talent, couldn't stay out of the strip club, stayed in trouble. Yeah, he did. Uh, there's no doubt he had uh, some incredible athletic talent, though. Um, Chris Bolton, thanks for hanging in there, buddy. I appreciate it. Hard R cards, all you guys I mentioned earlier, you're great. Uh, your support is wonderful, and I can't thank you enough. We got that uh, recap coming soon for the 15-hour 500-pack break. Uh, we'll get all the hits posted. It's going to be a couple hours, that video. it's uh, There's a lot of stuff to go through. We got pretty lucky. There's a lot of hits, a lot of good rookies, a lot of really, really sweet stuff. So, once again, I am Preston. I appreciate it. I love you guys. You are awesome. Have a good night. Be good. Have fun. And I will see you next time.